Buongiorno, buonasera, buonasera. Are you are you calling us from the Are you calling us from the Philippines? Uh, no, but I'm in Los Angeles, but my report will be going to the Philippines. <laughs> got it, got it, lovely. <laughs> so, uh, Sofia, why was it important for you to do this movie with your son, Eduardo, and Eduardo, why was it important for you to do this with your mother? Do you want me to start? Do you want to start? No, when I, what I said before, it was... Uh, it was time for me to be with my family and uh, because uh, it had been a long time uh, working and always thinking about what was I going to do in films and this and that. So uh, I, I thought that my life was uh, something that I had to, to do with my family and I, I stopped working for a long time. And uh, I enjoyed my children. I enjoyed everything that was around around me uh, for what I lived for, you know. And then it was um, one day, uh, Eduardo, Eduardo, he was uh, reading Roman Gary book, and um, he said to me that maybe that he found something that maybe I could have done wonderfully a story wonderfully and he told me about this one great story that uh, we did and um, it was like that that uh, that started uh, the idea of the, being back in my in my career and uh, going back making films for, for for me what's 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 really important when i when i embark on making a movie with my mother you know, who is not only my mother, but she's also an uh, immense actress with an enormous legacy, is what I can bring to the table. And what can I bring to the table? I can only bring what I know. And what I know is a Sophia Loren that few people know, because I was raised by her. So when I make a movie with her, I want to present to the world the Sophia Loren that I was raised by, not the Sophia Loren spelt with a PH, Sophia, but the Sophia spelt with an F, the one that she was born with, the F that she was born with. And to try to bring the authenticity of that woman to the screen in the frame. So when I read the book, when I read the character of Madame Rosa, I saw so many points of commonality in between her and my mother, in the temperament, in the in the in the in the irreverence, but always kind. In the uh, tragic figure, but always also quite funny. In the poetry of it. In the fact that my mother was also, as a child, you know, suffered through the Second World War. Of course, very differently than Madame Rosa. But she also heard the bombings. She also felt what it means to suffer during during those times. And so all these elements. Uh, paired with such a beautiful story and such a special story by Romain Gary made it impossible for me not to offer this role to the only person who today could inhabit it. And that's and that happens to be my mother. <laughs> and Sophia glamorized in this film, did it bother you? Uh, che uh, ti ha ti disturbato il fatto che non eri glamour, glamorous nel film? I never wanted to be glamorous in films. I always was looking for stories that touched my heart. Always, wow. always. And um, Eduardo, when you shot this movie, you tried to live together with Ibrahimi Gaye. So what was the purpose of that? And also, did it really work? Why you wanted it to be why they wanted to be living together so let me ask you do you think it worked yeah I, I think it worked but what did you get from it from from both of them living together yeah uh well what i was going for was you know the important thing when you pair um a, a new actor an actor that has never worked in a movie before with somebody who's done you know almost over 100 movies is that Ibra, you know, for Ibra, Sophia Loren was this towering figure. I mean, you know, no matter how grounded. The first, the first time I saw, we saw, I saw him. He cried. And also, you cried, by the way. Yes. Well, I didn't so, want to say that. <laughs> but but it was, you know, so 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 what was very important was to demystify 
the Sophia Loren that he thought he knew in his eyes and for him to introduce him to the Sophia Loren that I knew. So the best way to do that, and there were many elements that contributed to that, but one of those elements was to have all of us live together so that in the morning he met the Sophia that I knew. At night, after work, they would sit together and watch TV without talking. Sometimes I would catch them just sitting on a bench, looking out into the ocean without talking, or maybe it's just saying, exchanging a few words. But it was those simple moments outside of the set that then contributed the richness and the wealth of the relationship that hopefully appeared on the set and on the in 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 the frame and sophia is eduardo a strict director no <laughs> you can i allow you to say the truth you know he's a, he's, a, he's a great director because he has a wonderful soul absolutely no okay. no 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 well Never. thank you and very he much gives, and he gives he gives always uh, good uh, things to do and uh, he's very careful he's uh, He's a wonderful director, one of the best uh, nowadays. Absolutely. Thank you very much. I hope to see you in person one of these days. Thank you. Ah, thank you. Ciao. Ciao. Thank you. Thank you.